Welcome to Dr. Nakamura's lecture series on advanced bridge engineering. Number B 3.2. In the previous video, part 1 and 2 are presented. Now, part 3 corrosion prevention by cable dehumidification. I also studied how to prevent wire corrosion. We developed an innovative technology, dehumidify cable inside with dry air. This dehumidification system was installed to the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge, first in the world. Dry air is continuously sent into the cable to dehumidify. This shows the concept of the dehumidification system. Dry air goes through the cable inside, absorbs the humidity, and gets out. The surface of the cable must be tightly sealed so that air does not leak. Rubber tapes or A-shaped wrapping wire with paint are used in Japan. This shows the cable dehumidification system of the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge. Outside the air is taken and dehumidified at the deck of the Gada and goes up to the top of the tower, then goes along the cable through pipes and gets in the cable inside at the cable bands. This is the dehumidification devices on the lower deck. Dry air goes through the piping and gets in the cable from the inlet cable band. We studied the relation between relative humidity and corrosion rate for wires on different NaCl concentration. NaCl is sodium chloride. This graph shows corrosion rate is larger for higher NaCl and corrosion rate is small with relative humidity under 60%. Therefore, relative humidity of the cable inside must be targeted under 40 to 60%. The bridge owner inspected the cable 10 years after completion. It is healthy and shiny like the new cable. This method is verified very effective. Part 4. Corrosion prevention by aluminum zinc coated wires. Another study. How to prevent wire corrosion. Commonly, wires are galvanized with zinc. It is known that Aluminum zinc coating has better corrosion resistance for steel plates. We developed aluminum zinc coated wires. There was a study. Aluminum zinc alloy coated steel plates were exposed in three different environments for five years. Y-axis is the corroded thickness and X-axis the rate of aluminum. Corroded amount is largest in the marine environment, followed by industrial area. Countryside is the lowest. Rate of aluminum 5 to 15 percent or over 25 percent improve corrosion resistance. But high rate of aluminum requires high melting temperature which lowers the mechanical property. Therefore, aluminum of 10% and zinc of 90% alloy is developed for wires. This is the conventional steel wires coated with zinc. This is a steel wires coated with aluminum zinc alloy. The appearance is almost the same. Aluminum zinc wires and zinc wires were corroded in three conditions. A. 
relative humidity RH is 60%, B, RH is 100%, and C, wet condition. As for A, wires were put in a box without a lid. B wires were put in a box with a lid and a cup of water. C wires were wrapped with wet gauze. Then the specimen wires were kept in a thermohygrostat and kept at temperature of 40 degrees centigrade, relative humidity 60% for 5 months. Here are 12 test specimens. Two kinds of coatings. Aluminium zinc coating wires and zinc coating wires. There are three corrosion environments. Relative humidity 60%, relative humidity 100%, and wet condition. Without NACL, an NACL was attached. This shows appearance of wires after 5 months for relative humidity of 60%. Both has light corrosion and there isn't much difference. This is relative humidity of 100%. Both has light corrosion and there isn't much difference. This is a wet condition. Zinc coated wires was heavily corroded, whereas aluminium zinc coated wire doesn't have steel corrosion. This shows the mass loss due to corrosion of wires in wet condition. This was wire attached with NACL. It is obvious that aluminum zinc coated wires corrode less than zinc wires. Also, NACL makes wire corrode more. This shows the mass loss due to corrosion of wires at a relative humidity of 100%. Relative humidity 100% is less corrosive than the wet condition. Aluminum zinc and zinc coated wires are almost the same. This shows the mass loss due to corrosion of wires at relative humidity of 60%. Relative humidity of 60% is less corrosive than the wet condition. Aluminum zinc and zinc coated wires are almost the same. This is the corroded zinc wire. The close-up view shows steel corrosion. This shows the cross-section. At the left, steel layer corrodes. At the right, only zinc layer corrodes. You can see the boundary layer between the steel and the zinc coating is loose and coarse. This is the corroded aluminum zinc wire. The close-up view shows no steel corrosion. This shows the cross-section. Aluminum zinc layer corrodes at the left, but no corrosion at the right. The boundary layer between the steel and aluminum zinc coating is dense. In summary, steel wires coated with aluminum zinc alloy have been developed. Corrosion acceleration tests were conducted for five months. We found aluminum zinc alloy coated wires show better corrosion resistance than the zinc coated wires under severe environments. Zinc coating is okay under the usual environment, but aluminum zinc is better used in the marine or very wet condition. Part 5. Prediction of fatigue breakage position by 3D laser scanner. This study was carried out jointly by Toka University and the University of Surrey. 
We tried to predict the position where the wire breaks using 3D laser scanner. Let me explain how we carried out this study. First, we made corroded wires from the new galvanized steel wires by the same method mentioned earlier. This is a measurement system with 3D laser scanner. This is the scanner. The specimen, a corroded wire, was fixed to the rotary table. It rotates automatically. While a wire rotates, a surface roughness was measured by the 3D scanner. Scanned data was analyzed producing point cloud data as shown here. Then they were converted to the digital data and the depth, shape and distribution of corrosion pits were obtained. After measurements of surface roughness, fatigue tests were conducted. This is a corroded wire which was cyclically loaded until breakage. This is a failure section. The fatigue crack initiated at the corrosion pit. This shows the specimens after fatigue tests. From this, we can find where the wire break. Then it is compared with previously measured scanned data. This shows a quanta of the scanned surface roughness of specimen C1 near the breakage position. X-axis is the longitudinal distance from the edge. Y-axis is the circumferential coordinate when the cycle is developed. The pit depth of 0.6 mm is colored in black. 0.6 mm to 0.4 mm in red, 0.4 to 0.2 in orange, 0.2 to 0 in yellow. You can see the red part, severe corrosion. Section 1 is the actual broken part due to the fatigue test. The profile of surface roughness of lines 2 and 3 are shown. These are the profile along the longitudinal section of number 2 and number 3. The breakage position is situated at about 31 mm from the edge. The profile of number 2 shows a sharp triangle pit with a width of 0.52 mm and a depth of 0.66 mm. The profile of number 3 is a sharp triangle pit with a width of 0.48 mm and a depth of 0.45 mm. So, corrosion pits can be found by the scanned data and the deep pit positions agreed with the broken position. Now, 3D laser scanner can predict fatigue failure position. In summary, 3D laser scanner was applied to measure the surface roughness of corroded wires. Corrosion pits were found successfully and the position of deep corrosion pits agreed with the actual broken positions. So, 3D laser scanner can predict fatigue failure position. That's all for this lecture. Thank you. See you next lecture.